Okay, so um, try and save some confusion. I'll try and um, explain how I think the pump works. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I've got it. I've got it right. Although there is a couple of things that still confuse me. Anyway, um, the inlet hose for the the priming pump is um, off at the moment. I'm just checking it's not blocked, as uh, Richard suggested. Um, but this is the you can see that uh, this is the first inlet here into the the priming pump um, this is running all the time and it's providing pressure through the line that's vibrating um, to the direction changing um, cylinder steering pump as they call it the schematic um, so obviously I think you can see that there um, oh I can't I'm not this table, you probably can't see anything now. There we go. Um, so when I you can see that shifts the the piston in the end there and presumably that runs a some valves. So with that being a case, the pressure either gets dumped, I believe, on the middle setting. Um, there's a line there to dump it, or it runs into the right hand side of the pump or into the left hand side of the pump depending on which way the travel is moving and that in turn shifts the pin over here which is adjustable for the, um, the speed adjustable up and down on this yoke um, moves the pin over which rotates um, the cam inside the pump that changes the um, flow rate to change the speed and changes the pumping direction inside the pump. Um, that once that's done, there's I'm pretty sure a pair of valves here and here to the outlet. That's the outlet line, and that just simply goes back into the tank. That's the first stage of the pump. Um, the dump valve for um, how soft the table stops and returns is I don't know if you can quite see it. It's down in there. Um, that's backed right off at the moment and um, still making that noise. Um, there should be on the schematic, as I said in the other video, a, 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 a valve between this T here and where it goes into the um, steering pump and there doesn't seem to be one unless it's in the side of the steering pump there and I can't get to it or see it um, I might try and get the camera in there and take some photos of the flash just to see if there is anything that looks like an adjustable valve um, that may be a problem um, once that that's one half of the the system the other half um, there are two pickups left and right down here and down here um, these feed the main main um, main path of the pump and then they in turn they've got one-way valves and this is what I don't understand you've got one-way valves down at the pickup end um, with overload valves as well so if you take the overloads back out oil comes back out of them um, in either turn um, as the pumps pumping um, one when the tables going one way one when the tables going the other when the tables going the other way um, but with them set as they were they shouldn't be leaking anything I believe they're just there in case um, the table gets stopped or hits the end of its its um, uh, travel or something like that and then they'll open up or they will also let air out um, but I don't believe they should open normally during use and what that means in my head is once the main system gets full of oil um, that oil doesn't get changed and I would have thought it would have heated up if that oil doesn't get um, changed so anyway the pump is recirculating oil through these two as well um, so it's sucking oil up um, if we're pumping this way it's pumping the oil out this side up into the um, uh, the the I don't know what you call it the I suppose there's a switch up in there as well um, which this oil then um, well actually there is a switch up in there that's controlled sorry by the on off lever so that either um, recirculates the oil just back through the pump it in the middle section middle it locks the table in place um, it recirculates oil through the 
piston um, and then without actually well for equal pressure on either side of the piston I suppose and then if you open it right up it recirculates oil through the piston to drive the table either way and then obviously as the pump changes direction um, the flow reverses inside the pump inside this sort of circle through the pump and changes the direction of the ram but like I say what I don't understand is um, to me that system seems to be a sealed system and once it's full of oil um, it's not changing the oil there is a another line that you probably can't see that um, connects into the top of the pump here which I would assume would be um, another overload valve um, there doesn't seem to be adjustment on that and it doesn't seem to be letting any oil out in normal use and I'm wondering if it should be letting oil out in normal use um, as the pump gets loaded up at the end of each stroke but anyway that's my understanding of how it works and hopefully that helps um, uh, to help you understand um, Josh especially thanks for helping out um, and, and Richard um, as to just how this pump works and where this noise might be coming from and Richard might be right it might just be simply wearing in the um, in the pump and there's nothing we can do about it but you know um, if you do soften the um, the changeover um, down by taking taking the valve right out here the, the noise does go away so it's definitely uh, uh, only there when the table gets really heavily loaded or when the pump gets really heavily loaded so um, which which it shouldn't be doing I'm guessing anyway um, that's that